Pierre lived in the in the twelfth century, and by the the record of the Sefer Rokeach, which is undoubtedly the, the uh, attributed to the author of Elazar of Worms, he was born approximately 1170, and he wrote over 60 Sfarim, and the the Crusaders, Yimach Shemam, who destroyed his entire family and destroyed his works, there's just a few have come down to us. A parish to the Torah was printed about 30 years ago, there's a parish to the Chamesh Megilot, there's a Haggadah, and there is uh, now a parish to Mishlei. I found this uh, Ksavyad in the uh, in Yeshiva University some years ago, and uh, through many, many years of labor of love, finally have uh, been able to uh, figure out what these uh, very difficult uh, handwriting actually uh, meant to say, and I hope I have it right, and, I, and uh, with annotated notes. And there's an introduction, and and uh, my introduction, I found an introduction that he wrote to Mishlei, which is, before computers, amazing. He documents how many how many times the word Musr appears in Mishlei, how many times the Shorosh Lamed Memdal appears in Mishlei, how many times it appears in Devarim, and how, how, what they have in common, and and he makes makes references to uh, to all, all kinds of gematrios, and Rashi Tevos, Sof Tevos, and uh, second letter of the word, and third letter of the word, to bring out so many sodot niflaot that, that, uh, are, uh, that make, make its way in, into this parish. And, and there are pshatim as well. There's a sim- simple pshat of, of what the author is saying. What led you, what drove you to go seeking this handwritten manuscript in the... So at the, at the outset, this was a, a, a paper I wrote in, in graduate school over 30 years ago. Um, the professor, his name is Eloza Hurwitz, he uh, gave me, first I was working on Kohelis, and then towards the end of this manuscript we saw Mishlei. Uh, at the time, Kohelis was known to have been a, a work of the, of the Rokeach, and it actually appears in the Machon the Tatzlumim in Yerushalayim, but Mishlei no one knew about. So uh, it, it, you can see the word clearly. The word is, is Mishlei, and and then and, and he's writing uh, af- right after uh, some previous works. The one the one that was uh, attached to it was Shira Shirim, and in um, Klugman's work on on the Chamesh Megillot, which came out about thirty years ago, which have annotated notes from Avchaim Kanievsky, in in Klugman's work, the the uh, what appears in his Shira Shirim is exactly word for word what appeared on this Ksavyad of Shira Shirim. I just have the one page attached to Mishlei. And I, I was actually at Rav Kanievsky a few a few weeks ago. He, he wrote a Haskama to the Sefer. Uh, I especially sought out his Haskama because he he uh, wrote the notes to the to the earlier work. And he was, uh, he was I, I had received the Haskama from him just after he never came came up from sitting shiva. And then this 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 a uh, few weeks ago, he I, when I presented the Sefer to him, he, I remember a, a big smile both times, which we both caught on camera. And and it, we was he had nechama from this the first time and then uh, some simcha the second time, and and uh, it says chus as as I look I will just read from from the very end of the of the um, of my introduction, it says it says that mo ashiv l'ashem kol tag meloi alai al shezichani lahutzi laor olam perish zam yuchas l'rabenu lazer megir meza bal sefer okeach. Rabbeinu Kosav kam chamishim sfarim ulam lo zochinu lirot et kulam uluvaday zechut kedola hu lafitz ulufarsem perish zeh asher al yedei zeh tiena sivtot hatzadik dovavot yoter v'yoter. So you you can see that the person who wrote this 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 work suffered tr- terribly under under uh, oppression. It was the time of the Crusades, and he even writes throughout this parish. Imagine what he writes in in other places. But Mishlei is not known for for this kind of. Uh, of attribution, but he writes throughout the parish what to do when they come to you to force you to give up on your on your your dot and give up on your religion. How you can have strength to believe in the future, strength to to fight on, strength even in the face of of oppression, in the face of those who stand against us. How to carry on? And here we are reading his words uh, hundreds hundreds of years later and gaining strength from from the 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 the, the challenges that we have today. In in the pasuk in the beginning of Perak Bet. It says, "Oz tavin yeres Hashem." This way, you will understand how to be uh, God fearing. He says, "When a man learns Torah, first he should start with Tanakh, then he should learn Mishnah and Talmud, some oral tradition. For Chaka Chochmas Ateva, we should be steeped in order to understand the Kaddish Baruch Hu's, uh, attention to the minutia of the world and to the vast, the vast uh, expanse of the universe. You must be well versed in Chochmas Ateva." You have to know how minute the universe is and how expansive the universe is in order to have full year as Shemayim. 
Who knows, maybe he means meditation in order to, to be, to, to, the Navi Levav Chochmah, the Gemara Baba Basra says, to bring, to bring even to, to a state of, of, of prophetic vision. And, and um, in, in the Ksavyad that I was working with, it was the, the next line was, was crossed out. So I'm not sure if, uh, probably a Jewish censor, I'm not sure who, what, what he might have written that the Jews should be aware of afterwards. But it shows such, such a well-rounded uh, individual, the, the, the Hasidic Ashkenaz for, he, for whom he was writing, were profoundly pietistic. This, this community kept two days Yom Kippur in Chutz Laretz. And they, 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 were, they were profoundly pietistic. Every man took 39 lashes before Mariv every night in case he was violated a mitzvah slo sase. And there was a custom that we have to this day. Almost all, all Jews around the world keep this custom that they say a pasuk with 13 words in it just before davening Mariv that they would say three times, three times 13 for the 39 Malkus. The Gemara Malkus talks about it. And they would say three, three times in case someone chas v'shalom violated a, a, a mitzvah slow sase that day. And, and even after fasting two days Yom Kippur, they wouldn't break their fast until the sukkah was built. <laughs> after two days? After keeping two days Yom Kippur. So this was a, 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 a very pietistic community. And it was known, known as Hasidic Ashkenaz. He was the Talmud of, of Rabbi Lachasid.